the lesser platinum male. Pastel has hide. There's my, my pie ball. This is my blonde pastel. He's huge. She is pretty. Hey, this is Steve from BC Barker Creations, and we're just going to do a collection update and just go through all of our animals. Thanks for watching. This is our Snow Las Vegas Patternless Albino from David's Fine Gecko, male. He's a big boy. Pretty boy. Come on. And we have another Snow Las Vegas albino pattern list right here from David's Fine Geckos. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. She's a little girl. Come here, you. She's gonna let me get her today. She's a pretty girl too. You want to hold her now? Mm -hmm. Come over here. I don't want you to drop her. She'll crawl right up on your hand. Get your hand in there. There you go. She's a pretty girl. This is a Max Snow. Let's see. This is a Max Snow possible hat radar. And I don't want to upset her too much, but she doesn't like to be handled yet. Come on, girl. Come on, I don't want you to fall. She's trying to climb the wall. <laughs> I can't reach in there. Come on, it's all right. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> there she is, though. She's a pretty girl. She's just a little skittish right now. She'll figure out we're not going to eat her. We got a uh, Las Vegas albino bold jungle, which this is a pretty girl, too. She's in her humid hide here. Open. There she is. You guys have seen them all, but she's a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put your hand over here. There you go. Put your hand lower so she don't jump right off. Wow. There we go. She's our lazy one. She's always sleeping. Well, she eats a lot. Did I get me? Yeah, she eats a lot. She eats real good. Now she's telling me, put my hide back. Okay. Yep. Then, and all those geckos were from David's Fine Geckos, and this Denker is also from David's Fine, Fine Geckos. That's just a Denker, yeah. It's a nice looking snake. Is it a body? No. She just got some, like, like really uh, white white sides to all her markings, and yeah, she got the high white sides or whatever to all her. It's like an outline to all of her uh, pattern and 
I've got another female I'll show you guys that's older than this. It's similar. Just an unusual normal. Right, look at this guy. These are our white tree frogs. This guy's nice pretty blue right now. There's three of them in here. But you can see the color difference on these two. This one's a nice pretty blue one. And you got a couple green ones. Those are White's tree frogs. We've had them for a while now. And they're getting fat. Let's see. Come here, little guy. Ah, what are you doing in the water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, little gargoyle. Whoa! Mm -hmm. yeah, he's taking off on me. There he is. Little gargoyle. Striped. A lot of times he's black. Right now he's really light colored. So, and then we've got another gargoyle over here. Just hold on. Where are you? He's in here somewhere. Oh, there he is. So got another little gargoyle right here. A little gargoyle gecko. Go back in there. There we go. And then, let's see if we can really want to get the mail out because. You guys never get to see the mail. So. First we'll get this girl for you. So you can check her out. There we go. Now here she is. A nice big female. She's a red blotched reticulated I believe is what she is. She's a pretty girl. She don't want to turn for the camera. Put her back in here. Let's see if we can get the mail out. Let's move these over here. Back up. I can't do. And this guy's tricky. Let's see if I can get him. Come here, you. Without getting bit, because he tried to bite me a few times already. And there he is, hiding behind the thing. He's so good at hiding. He just keeps going around. Come on. You're alright. I'm not going to hurt you, guy. There he is. We don't get to see him too much, because he doesn't like to be handled very much. That's our male striped gargoyle and he is a pretty boy so we don't get to see him too much We're not doing too bad actually uh, he's a pretty boy can't wait to breed these guys I actually have one egg in the incubator from these guys but I don't think it's fertile and I'm gonna leave it in there for a while. There he is. We'll put him down here. There you go. There you go, guy. Now he doesn't want to get off me. There you go. Let's take a look in here. Here we got a female pastel. Female bumblebee. This is a male bumblebee who sold, and he's in shed. I figured I'd show him anyways. I still have this head albino female available, and she's pounding food. She gotta be like right around 300 grams by now. Looking good. Here's a spider male who's sold. 
I just figured I'd show him too. He's pretty boy and he is, he's pounding food. These guys are all, now they're all on frozen thawed rats except for the one male, uh, male bumblebee that, that I said was sold. Here we've got a possible hat albino female and then an albino male which this girl just hit 1500 grams so we figured we'd uh, try and prove her out this year. She's a nice looking girl. Nice looking albino there. Just put these guys together so no lockups yet. Okay it's a uh my normal female, similar to that dinker you saw earlier, and my lesser platinum male, which we haven't seen these guys lock up yet, but hopefully there's them. This is a nice big female who you can see is in shed big time, all blued over with her eyes there. But she's a nice big girl. Just a normal. This is the hookup I'm really looking forward to this year. This is my bumblebee and my blonde pastel. And uh, I tried to instigate a because my my bumblebee hasn't you know attempted to breed yet this year he's a father of my bumblebee clutch from last year but i took uh my blonde pastel shed a couple days ago and just to instigate a breeding response from him i uh i took her shed and threw it in his tub and then i just put him in there today so we'll see in a day or two if they're locked up or not and see if that worked at all. That blonde pastel and my bumblebee here. So I'm really looking forward to that clutch. And here is my stubborn piebald who doesn't like to eat rats. Unfortunately. And she's a pretty girl. She's from Jacob Elk Reptiles. Like I said, she's kind of stubborn. I can trick her sometimes into taking a rat, but. And I thought she would go this year, but she's like holding on to about 11, 1200 grams. I think she's right around 1200 grams. Then in here, this girl just hit. 1500 grams and this is a hat pied female and that is my pastel hat pied male back there so hopefully we will get some hookups with these two and get some pastel pieds maybe and this is my uh, big girl my head albino female the mother to all my albinos Deep shed, blue right over. You guys can see her there. She's a big girl. She's got to be like right around 3,000 grams easily now. An albino female who's another stubborn eater that. Should have been ready to breed this year, but isn't. But it's alright. She's starting to eat better right now, so. There's another albino female who is real close to breeding size. I think she was like 1300 grand, so. Pretty sure she'll go this year. A few more meals. This 
still got this guy available. This is a 66% hat albino male who's sitting there right around a thousand grams and now he's back on frozen thawed rats he went off rats for a little while and all of a sudden the last three meals he's taking them he's starting to put on weight again well, there he is he was eating mice for a while but 66 percent hat albino male Here's an albino male who uh, swapping him out, him and my other albino male back and forth, and whoever fathers a clutch, fathers a clutch. But they're just backing each other up. This is uh, this is a hundred percent head albino male right here. He's retired. But he's not going nowhere. He's going to stay here. But he's a big boy. Big baby. He likes to be handled. Girl. Oops. This is another 66% hat female. And she's just bright as could be. And she used to be my biter. She's not so bad anymore. And this is my Dinker female from uh, David's Fine Geckos, and she's just gorgeous. Um, I can't wait to breed her, but she's like a year or two away from breeding, so. But I look forward to that. There's one last new addition to the collection, and there he is. That's right, we acquired a Sasquatch, and he obviously is hungry, so there's his uh, daily diet, and he really likes these beef sticks. And then you gotta give him a banana every now and then. <laughs> he really likes these beef sticks. <laughs> Calm down or I'll get I'll get I'll shock you and this is not a beef stick. That's right, you know. Calm down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. And as you can see, he's, I mean, he's living in luxury in there. I mean, he's got a bed and a TV. I mean, if you look over there, he's got a computer. He hasn't figured out how to use them. You would think he'd be eating the bananas, but he's really hooked on them beef sticks. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>